So at the moment, I'm not certain whether I should be mad at people or mad at social media. And I say that because as you look at the comic book community and the market, there is a tremendous amount of negativity. And I believe that social media is partially to blame. I feel like social media is farming the outrage, farming the negativity by purposefully putting content in front of people that they are going to react negatively to. And when they do, they amplify it so that more people see content that they don't enjoy. And then when people start to comment and comment to the comments, it becomes this whole thing that happened recently to one of my videos. And we are going to talk about it ahead. Reggie here, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. Despite that intro, I am going to try to not make this video a negative one. That is my goal. But I want to talk about a short that I released back in May and how that video has performed and how people have responded to that video. So I dropped in in May a short form video on the Echo series. And there were around 5,500 or so people that watched that video, that short, and some of those people left some comments behind. But on November 2nd to the present day, uh, that video has received an additional 40,000 views. And in total, there are more than 200 comments that have been left on that video. And from the very first comment to the most recent comment, there are a healthy number of negative comments that people have left on that video. And I wanna, I'll, I'll read you some of the comments from uh, that momentarily. But it strikes me as odd that people would watch some content in some cases, not enjoy that content, seek out additional content that is related to the content that they don't like. They watch it, they leave comments on it, and then they come back and comment to the comments. I find that astounding. I, I am shocked that people would take the time out of their lives to watch content and comment and engage with something that they do not enjoy. I, I, I'll i be honest, I do not understand the phenomenon. I do not understand what people are trying to accomplish when they do that. And maybe, maybe you're one of those people. Maybe you've you know, you've left these comments, you've watched this content, you've engaged with it, and you hate it all. Help me to understand, what are you trying to accomplish when you do that? Because I really, I really do not get it. But I actually took a look at Rotten Tomatoes and I wanted to see what people were saying about the Echo Show on Rotten Tomatoes. And for some reason, I was not able to see the number of audience critics that have left comments on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. I was not able to see what they were commenting. I could only see their score. And at the time that I looked this up, I think their score was 66% from audiences and 72% from critics. So clearly people are not necessarily embracing Echo. I watched it. I did not mind it. I, I think that there were some parts that were better than others. Some things made no sense to me. Other things I, I enjoyed. Uh, but I will tell you, I have never left a comment on Rotten Tomatoes. I have not purposefully sought out content that I don't agree with to leave a negative comment on that content. If I don't like something, I just avoid it, <laughs> right? I just, I just stay away from it. I do not get this phenomenon. And so I think, again, this is partly uh, the fault of people and it is partly the fault of social media. There is a reason, I think, that this video received an additional 40,000 views and a ton of additional negative comments. Social media is farming the outrage. And I think that that's something that we have to be aware of. Uh, but but I want to read you some of the comments that were left. Some of them are benign. Some of them are, are worse than others. There's several with, with curse words. So we won't read those. But the very first comment that was left on this video says, likely the first few episodes are hot garbage, but the finale is good and dropping them all at the same time doesn't give the interweb Disney Plus haters five weeks to just complain about how bad the show is and then stay silent 
when the ending delivers. 18 people actually like that comment. This comment was left several months ago or seven months ago, I should say. But the video that I originally released highlighted the fact that uh, Disney, Marvel made the decision to release all of the episodes at once instead of weekly like they've done for other series. And my simple question was, why do we think that we're doing that? And these are some of the responses. Another response that I pulled out is they are dropping it after they toss it to the masses. They want to wash their hands of it. That was one that was left two months ago. Uh, these next two are from the last few days, five and six days ago. They just throw out the trash because <laughs> they know it's gonna suck was the other comment. Uh, and I think this is the last one. Let's be honest. They're not releasing their dumping because they know it's another dumpster fire and another disaster and another crap fest. The rest of this comment doesn't make sense. So I'm not going to read that, but then someone else comments, uh, man, this show sucks. And then another absolute trash. So again, I, I respect people watching content and then deciding that's not for them. What I don't understand again is people watching content that they know that they don't like, right? They go into it saying, I'm not going to like this. They then watch it. They then decide that they do not like it, or at least it confirms that they don't like it. Then they seek out other content to engage with about what they don't like and then leave tons of negative comments on that thing. Again, I do not understand this phenomenon. I am not saying that these people are bad. I'm not saying that they're wrong. You are entitled to have whatever opinion you want. I just don't understand why anyone would invest so much time, energy, and effort into something that they do not like. I actually asked a couple of these people, how many episodes did you watch? Because I want to know, was it zero? Was it one, two, three? I want to know how much you actually consumed before you decided that it was bad. That that I just, I'm curious about that. And I did not reveal names because it's not about the people. You can name a situation and you will see this exact same thing. This is not unique to Echo. And maybe it is just a sign that people just don't like what Marvel and DC are putting out right now. And I actually, again, I respect that. You are entitled to your opinion. But wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be great if we just remained silent? If we did not focus on the negative? Because here's the challenge. I read a ton of comments. I engage with a ton of people. And what I find is that sometimes I'm hard pressed to figure out what it is that people actually enjoy. What is it that they like? What is it that brings them happiness? They are so focused on the negative that they never really get to what it is that they enjoy. It would be amazing if we spent more of our time focused on the positive things, the things that we that we really enjoy, that we, that we consume because they bring us pleasure, escapism, whatever it happens to be, it would be amazing to read those type of comments. But I can tell you on certain pieces of content, like 90% of it is negative. And then there's like one or two comments where people like, I enjoyed this. And I'm like, you know what? It's refreshing to see that those handful of comments it would be amazing if it were more of that. Now, the question, the thing that I wonder is would social media push the positive or is social media really focused on the negative because they know that the negative is what gets people to engage and comment and fight? It would be amazing to test it out, to see whether a bunch of positive comments would amplify a video in such, a same, in such the same way. And again, 5,000 views over it over several months. And then all of a sudden 40,000 in a relatively short period of time. It is fascinating. I would encourage you to be less negative, to focus on the positive, focus on the things that you enjoy, focus on the things that bring you pleasure, because mentally I would imagine that that's probably better for the person, but then also for the community as a whole. With that said, we're going to wrap this video up. Hopefully it wasn't too negative, but if you enjoyed this video, I want to encourage you to give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. And if you want to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care. This thing on. Mic check. I just want to make sure y'all can hear me clearly. Yeah. Should you practice art? 
or should art be your practice? I had a question, so I asked it. Not to anyone specifically, but to my inner God, you know? The one that's gonna be a master. The one that's more than a rapper. The one that's an educator. The one that seeks enlightenment. He travels with concepts. He's got the mindset expansive. He understands that it's time combined with travel and concepts. Makes his mind convex. Sort of like when you look at a brain scan. Straight off meditation, we was concaving until we had that eternal dialogue that created our dialect. Now we're in distinct rooms of pure souls, having them conversations. Synergy and combination.